I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body. And that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. If you want to build a massive chest, you have to stop expressing it right now. Welcome to Heinz Seniors Coaching Up. Get access to the P3AK High Intensity Training eBook and its exclusive video tutorials. Commit with Heinz's coaching right now and be provided with a year of meal plans, training programs, and more. www.p3akday.com. There is no room for the littles. I love it. And we're back again with another exciting episode of After Hours. No psychologists here this week. No extras. Only the core group. We got uh, Mr. G. Greg Valentino, of course, John Romano, and uh, Rob Jordan. Welcome back, guys, and uh, hopefully you had a good weekend. What, what's that shirt say? Every day is better. I agree with that, George. Every day better. This is from a, oh, from a fan. A fan has a, has a company called Every Day Better. Oh, really? That's You're awesome. getting free shit now? You're, like, in the mail? Yeah, people send me stuff. People send me stuff, and then... Oh, uh, good. Hey, Greg. How you doing, George? I got I this book from there. Randy Herring called The Fitness Mindset. I haven't read it yet, though. Seven habits for peak performance to get strong, lean, and fit. So looks like a pretty good book. So I'm going to check this out. Is, it, is that a plug? It's a plug. Yeah, free plug. But Randy Herring. Thank you for sending me this book, Randy. All right. What else? What else we got going on? Greg, what do you got going on over there? Not a whole hell of a lot. Dog chasing his tail. Yeah, what, now, what do, you do for Chris, what do you do for Christmas in your house, Greg? Do you cook a big meal? A humbug. Nothing? <laughs> But now nah, you know I get it. The family all comes over. My, but who you know, cooks? I got my though? Daughter. Who cooks? Huh? Does anyone I cook? cook? You do? I cook. Yeah, I'm actually a really good cook. I hate cooking, but because you know what it is? I'm an eater. And you know, all most bodybuilders, guys who like to work out, eat a lot. Yeah. Usually, you're pretty good cooks because we fucking we you know we want to you know if I had to rely on somebody else to cook the food, my girlfriend's the worst cook on the planet. I mean, do you, you know, do you make a healthy food. thanks a uh, healthy Christmas, or do you make like the typical you know you know? No, the typical fucking Ginzo uh, Christmas. You gotcha. know what I mean? Where we're all eating everything Italian, and everybody afterwards is farting and sick to their stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I try to tell my wife that the Italians we have meatballs and spaghetti on uh, on, on Christmas, right? Absolutely, no, got, lasagna. Lasagna, you're right. Lasagna, you're right. Yeah. That's right. Right. We we have like ZD and all that shit. You know, you got to have all that though, yeah. Italian stuff. You know, yeah. my, my grandma us. would throw a turkey in the oven anyway just to have it extra. But it was really lasagna. You're right, John. Now that I remember. Yeah. Oh, I love Thanksgiving turkey. It's the best. <laughs> yeah, they, turkey's okay. You know what I mean? But I'm I like uh I like eating a pig. No, I you know oh, pork oh, and, man, and, yeah. and 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 uh and and. You know, roast and shit. I, but the, we use like ham and shit, you know, like that, you know? Right, right. Like the big, you know, the big fucking spiral ham. You just throw it in the oven and it cooks itself. I mean, you like roast beef too, Greg. I know that, right? Oh, yeah. I, I'm a big beef eater. I know. I've I, seen I, you I, eat I, a lot of that. You like eating roast beef. I don't think, I, I don't think I've ever had a roast beef at my at my um, Italian grandmother's house. I had a lot of, in my Jewish grandmother's house, I had a lot of roast beefs. I don't know. No, we never, we didn't eat it for a holiday, though. You know, we eat chicken parm a lot. Yeah. A lot of chicken parm. I Everybody chicken in this parm, house, my, my nieces and everything, like, because I make them fat and big like this. Oh, so I like them like, thin. I like them very thin. Nah, thin. You thin. Got a, I got a great chicken uh, parm recipe on Gaspari Kitchen. You do? I got to go check right. it out. Yeah, clean, yeah it's, it's, it's actually healthy. And, and it's, when, is it, when is that show, John? When is it? Where is that? Where, how do you watch it? YouTube. Gaspari okay. Kitchen. I just my it. wife makes the healthiest chicken parm. It's absolutely amazing. And it's uh, it's baked. She makes everything because I don't eat nothing fried. Yeah. You should taste her chicken parm, man. It's absolutely amazing. I, I did a video on RX a number of years ago. My, I call them keto cutlets. I took uh, almond flour and egg whites and coated the uh, chicken with that. And I fried them in macadamia nut oil. They were absolutely delicious. So if you like the taste of like like a something that tastes like a chicken cutlet but it has no carbs... 
and just protein fat, that that's the way to go. You got to watch, check out that video. You know, what, you know what a lot of people do? They take pork rinds and they grind them up and make breadcrumbs out of pork rinds. <laughs> and they put that on yeah. I swear to God. It, uh, here's, a, here's a question. What U.S. president was a big pork rind eater? Do you know? Wasn't it one of the Bushes? Yes, you're right. You know uh, which one? George, George Bush. Senior. The old one. I think it was George the older one, right? Yeah, it was the older one. Yeah. That's what I said. See, don't fuck with me. I know my shit. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody, everybody freaks out about pork and pig. When you know they just did a study that it's one of the health pork fat is one of the healthiest fats that you can you can eat. Really? Really? Yep. They Wait. try to say it's dirty, but so is chicken, right? Doesn't chicken eat its own? Ch chicken or scavengers just like pigs, yeah. but, yeah. but right. I heard that chicken's a gluey meat and that inside your intestines, it gets sticky. And is that true, Dave? You, you might know about that. Well, we don't eat their intestines, so who cares? Yeah, really. <laughs> no, no, no. We, I'm saying you eat chicken and it gets like in your Oh, intestines. no, I don't think so. I don't think that's Oh, that's no. chitlins. Chitlins, oh no, chitlins is, is cow. No, no, I'm not talking about pork. eating chickens. I'm saying when you eat a chicken breast, it's a gluey meat, and supposedly in your intestines, nah. it's like, nah. yeah, I know, that's probably you know, a I, I, I crack up at these ads I see all the time about the colon co collecting all of this yeah. weight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it, John Wayne died with a 72-pound colon or some shit. You have lobsters stuck in there. I, it's, it's false. It's yeah. absolutely that's false. Cool. Your body does not carry around a package of waste in your <laughs> colon just sitting there rotting. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> Wait a minute, John. There it. could be stagnation in your colon because it's not moving stuff through efficiently, but eventually stuff gets out. Yeah, it, it eventually it comes out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not staying in there. But wait a minute, Steve, Steve Blackman bought me a two-pound steak, and I shit out three pounds of milk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you remember when we held that that steak eating contest with RX Muscle? Yes. At, at what was the name of that steakhouse? I don't remember. If you ate I don't it, remember it was like a ninety-six ounce steak or something like that, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, Joel. Joel won. Joel ate. No, the two people ate it. The, who else ate? Yeah, it? but Joel won. The other guy, Scuderi. Yeah, John Scuderi had, they, but was it was fucked up because they the two steaks were totally different. One was all <laughs> gristle and fat that you couldn't eat, and then the other one was like all meat. So. Yeah, that was fucked up. <laughs> that was actually, you want to know trivia? That was the last, um, I think, you may correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but I think that was the last RX event that was attended by Derek Anthony. Oh, you might be right. You might be right. It was a, it was a contest. They give, if you eat the steak, they give it to you for free with the whole day. Right. But you got to eat the baked potato too with it, right? This and this, <laughs> the baked potato and the... And oh. the the piece of bread, the yeah, some salad, kind of like salad, yeah, garlic salad. bread or something like that. But yeah, something like that. But yeah, the the steak was. I mean, I thought that Joel was going to die driving home, like have a heart attack because the yeah. the sweat that was coming off him and, and John Scuderi uh, from eating that but, thing. But but were, Scuderi, but Scuderi had a hernia and he had a belt on to keep it in, and he was like, he, remember? And he had to let the belt he had to let the belt out. Yeah, to let. Oh, the, <laughs> He was, when he opened the belt up, his intestine was on the other side of the room, I think, you know. Oh, my God. What happened to Joel? What, what happened to him? He's still around. I, I still talk to him. So, so I think when Joel – so I said, Joel, you better go do some fiber lies after this. I, th I believe it took him three days to go to the bathroom, but when he did, I think he, he shit out – I think he shit more than he ate. You're right, uh, Greg. Well, Same thing. He said he put an enema in there and then came back out. And he yeah, was like, he, he, he was he like bottled up for like days. Think and then it was, John, it was only Scott Connolly, Scott Connolly told me that an eight ounce steak, like, will take like eight hours to fully digest. Imagine what a 96 ounce steak will do. How long that takes to digest. Ooh, 96, well, it's hours. 96 it's, hours. It's eight it's grams right per hour, I think it is, here. or something like that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask Dave this Dave is beef or lab healthier? I, I think it depends on how lean it is. You know, I, I, it, there's so okay. many different cuts of steak. Like, I always ate the leanest cuts of steak. Like, I, I'll eat, like, top round, like a London broil, or I'll eat, like, you know, um, um, like a filet. I know guys that yeah. like real gristly steak. That takes a lot longer to digest because of the incredible That's amount me. of fat in there, you know. What about the lab? Like, lab, is that, is that healthy? I think lamb has is, is is pretty marbled, isn't it? Isn't that why it's so tender? Some, yeah, yeah, yeah some of it is. Some I do. I know Middle Eastern people like lamb. I do like lamb too if it's yeah. if it's prepared yeah. properly. 
when we go to those Brazilian steakhouses, sometimes they'll bring that that piece of lamb out, and it's, it's so lean, and they slice oh, it thin. So That's great. That's yeah. the one in Manhattan. Remember, we used to go to the one in Manhattan after Tribeca. Yeah, I I remember. I don't know who it was. I think it was it Arthur L. Ray or was it Gaspar? Someone took us to a a place in Brazil. We went to a, a, a or maybe it was Bio Botanica. I went with them. I don't. One of those companies Ray took me done. to a all you can eat place like that with the meat place in Brazil. Which was the best one wow. I've ever been to. That was the, 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 by far the best. Amazing. Every piece of meat they brought around was incredible. Lamb shank's amazing if you guys tried it, but it's, it has some fat in it. Yeah. It's extremely tender. Have you have you guys tried lamb shank? No. You'll have to no. make it for us, Rob. Oh yeah, I will. It's amazing. It's amazing. Michigan's I, I loaded be- with a good Middle Eastern food. That, that I know for a fact. Right there. I what was Letman and David Barbarian, and he was eating. Uh, Colby beef hamburgers. Oh, yeah. I forgot where it was. There was a Colby yep. beef place. Colby beef is beef. What that they feed beer to, right? They give beer to the uh, yes. Well, yes. no, it's a whole it's a whole process. They do give them beer. They massage them. They give yeah. them yes. a lot of great. They want a <laughs> they want a high fat content. Wow. Yeah. The thing is, I had this I had this crazy person. I'm not going to say who it was because I'll get in trouble. But yeah, they they only eat their meat well done. Right, so I got this Kobe beef. I know exactly what you're talking a about. Yeah, steak. It's like hundred fifty dollars a steak, right? <laughs> I want it well done. I go, I can't cook this well done. And he said, Why not? I want it well done. I go, That's like that's like asking you me to bake ice cream. I can't do it because all, all the fat melts, right? Right. I right. gotta have it well done. I can't. All right, fuck it. All right. So the steak started out twelve ounces, right? <laughs> well done. You know how much it weighed? Four. Three. Three. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it, it was this big. It, and it was like all disintegrated because all the fat melted. Right, out, right, right, you know? right, right. Yeah, I don't really like the. T- I'm not really a Kobe beef person. I, I don't. I'm to me, either. it doesn't it taste like wax. Yeah, I, it doesn't taste that good to me at all. Yeah, I like fillet. Fillet is look. I can go to Outback and get a fillet, and I'm very happy. You know, oh, they have a pretty oh, good fillet yeah. there. Let, let me oh. tell you guys where the best piece of meat on the cow. Wait, is. What's your best? Okay. What's your best cut? Blackman doesn't even know about this. Wait right, a minute, right? John. You just you just reminded me of something when you Wait, said me... about the steak. Look, who is this, John? You ready for this? Who is that on the cover? Oh, Steve Weinberger. 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 Freddie Mercury. Weinberger. Steve Weinberger. 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 Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Wow. So, Look at that. What do you think of that? You what had that same that? mustache back then, Jimmy. What are you talking yeah, that's about? Why I almost thought it was you. <laughs> no, me. Cause you hey, I got, I got, I got a fucking story for you. That looks Who's just like Jimmy. No, wait, let me finish. The best piece of meat on the cow, you got to get the prime rib from the chuck end, and there's a piece of meat they call the cap, which is on top. It's the biggest on the chuck end. By right. the time you get to the other end, it disappears. It's called a cap. You take that cap off. If you're buying like ribeye steaks and you see the eye in the middle and that piece of meat on the outside, yeah, yeah. that's it. It's the piece of meat on the outside. Oh. So when you grant when you're buying ribeyes, you look for the smallest eye and the biggest piece of meat on that. And you take it home, you cut out the eye, you take that away, right. you cook that another time, and you put the 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 caps together, you cook that, you will never ever eat another piece of meat off the cow every really? week. Right. It tastes try good, it. but it's fatty, right, John? Is that it's it, kind it, of it, 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 fatty? It, the outside's a little fatty, but it's, it, I mean, it, yeah, it's definitely a fattier cut, but it's it is delicious. absolutely the most It is delicious, John. Yep. Yep. The best. Best. Jimmy the Bull, what's your favorite cut of steak? Poop steak. The one he doesn't pay for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hot dog. <laughs> he goes and gets that. The, 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 he goes right to the ranch and he kills the the, the cow himself, John. Yeah. And he wrestles with so, it. I went out to dinner last night. So anyway, I got I got a couple of quick stories. I got to get yeah. out of here. I got to go to the VA. So I go to the. He's got a, friend, he's got a hot date at the night. VA, John. He loves going to the VA. He lives for the VA. The Chinese. The Chinese. <laughs> Nurse is waiting for him. Yeah. I finished my fucking story over here. here. <laughs> Can I say something? Jesus Christ. So, I was coming out of the gym last night, 7 o'clock. You know, I'm gaining weight. I don't Because I haven't been working. I'm, I'm, my boss promised me work. And I think he's just dangling the steak in front of me. He don't want me to go anywhere else. Yeah. So, I, I, I went to the gym last night. So I'm, I'm almost like 247 right now. I don't even know where this oh. weight came from. Wow. What? So 247? Gonna... That's heavier than you've yeah. ever been. You must oh, be fat. Shit. I, I'm I'm going I'm getting on 250 soon. I got to stop. I don't know what it, Are you, you know, muscular or are you fat, Jimmy? 
You would never. No, I'm not have. fat. No, my stomach is flat, bro. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fat. Are you, are you, are anyway, you, on a, are you taking anadrols again? I've been training, so I just started really amping up my training. I was you ignored my training last night, hard as fuck. <laughs> so, anyway, so, uh, yeah, does this look familiar? <laughs> ah. I go to, I, I go to what I. Yeah. <laughs> Benji, drop the reps <laughs> increase the dosage. I, I, I all I saw was the book. control three uh, symbol on there. Yeah. Drop right. the reps, increase the dosage. All I saw was handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> so I, anyway, I, I go to the fucking. Right. Uh, you know, I come out of the gym around seven o'clock last night. I'm all pumped up. And also, I get a text from my friend. They want me to come to Rare to six fifty or two fifty. What the fuck? I don't know. Some restaurant, in Sayas. I don't know. You might have heard of it, Dave. I don't yeah, know. very. I've been there. So, it's very. It's, it's a good rest. Good steak restaurant. Yeah, so you know, I, I go to meet my friend there. You know, I go shoot with these guys and everything. Good guys. Isn't you know? I think it's owned by the same people that own Blackstones Steakhouse. What was that? You know where Blackstones is, right by you? Yeah. I think yeah. it's the same yeah. owner. Oh, it is the same. Yeah, owner. yeah. Yeah. Well, it was. It was. They do sushi steak. There. That's their thing. There, right? Sushi and steak. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so my uh, my friend Mike was a bartender over here, right across the street from my house. And I, I always go to dinner. He gives me breaks. I always give him twenty, thirty dollar tip. You know, I just that's just what I do. So, he invited me to to go for drinks. I didn't eat yet. I just got in the gym. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll go get a drink. Maybe I'll get a little appetizer. You know. So I get there. Chris in there. So I walk in the fucking place, and I and I'm walking. You know, I walk. I valet the bar. I walk right right into the building. And all of a sudden, this guy, the manager, I guess, he comes running over to me. You know. And he says, uh, excuse me, he says, uh, where are you going? I says, what do you mean where I'm going? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go sit and meet my friends at the fucking bar. What do you mean where am I going? <laughs> you know, I'm in the restaurant. Where, where can I go? I'm yeah. going to the bar over there. <laughs> <laughs> my fuck where? God, I can't mean to use the toilet. I barely fuck, fuck my God so I can use your toilet. I'm going to the bar over here. Who are you meet? I says, Chris and Mike over there. Oh, you were Chris and Mike? Yeah. I, he goes, you got to put a mask on. I, got, I, I said, a mask? I got to wear a mask? I, I said, I totally forgot about this fucking bullshit with the mask over here. The fucking governor here you reinstated the Hold mask. On. How are you so, going to eat and drink so, with a mask on? No, no, no. Like, I, was, I, I thank God I had a fucking mask in my fucking pocket. Right? So I take it out. I put the fucking mask on. The guy escorts me to the fucking bar. Right? So I'm sitting down. I'm eating. And I, I, you know, I'm not eating. I, I sit down. And Mike, you know, I say hello to everybody. Bullshit. Mike's like, you know, Jimmy, you know, tonight everything's on me. And I says, really? I, I says, I, I don't need that. Like, Mike, I don't need that. He says, no, no. He goes, you're always tipping me. You know, Chris is good to me. You know, so he goes, it's on me. So me like an asshole. I order a cheeseburger. Oh, my so God. <laughs> At <laughs> rare? So I, you're I'm in a like fancy steakhouse. in Long Island. Oh. <laughs> so now listen to this. So you know now you know, I take my mask off and sit down and order a fucking uh, Peroni beer and uh, we start ordering. I order a cheeseburger. You know Mike got Mike Mike got some uh, shrimp shit and also Chris orders this huge steak, right? <laughs> so I'm like, look at this motherfucker. I said, you know the guy you offered to, to pay for the dinner. I was being nice. I got a cheeseburger fries. Yeah. I didn't want to rob him. You know fucking Chris orders <laughs> a fucking steak. So now I'm, I'm eating my I'm eating my fucking cheeseburger and I keep looking over to fucking Chris oh. eating his steak. You know what I mean? I'm like, Chris, my, my fucking mouth was jewel. I said, I should have got a fucking steak. What's wrong with me? I'm in fucking ramp up, fucking whatever this place is, right? So anyway, I, 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 I ate, I left, I went home, I got home late. I couldn't fucking sleep all fucking night. I get up, I go to the gym this morning, and I go to the supermarket. That's why I was late. I was at King Cullen. I walk in King Cullen, and a fucking guy comes running over to me, the store manager. He's like, uh, yo, he goes, you got a mask? I says, uh, I says, really? I says, uh, I'm just going to grab a few things over here. He goes, you, you, you got to have a mask. I says, I don't have a mask. You know, I says, I, I think it's in the car. He says, oh, you can't shop without the mask. Oh, my God. I'm like, I says, come on, buddy. You know me, man. I'm here every fucking day, man. You got to break my balls in a fucking mask. Do you, hold on, do you wear a mask every day or you never have a mask on? I don't have a fucking what mask What are they, cha- they, did they change the law or something like that? They, What's going they, on? Yeah, Monday, yeah. Monday morning, uh, 7 a.m. They fucking yeah. change it. I'm sick of this motherfucker. Even the gyms I'm, here. I'm, in New York, the gyms now, back to masks in the gym. Now, wh- now why I'm did they change it? Yesterday. Why did they change it back? What, what's going on? You, you, know, you, know, you know what's ridiculous? Because you got Nazi there, governors. There, there's absolutely ironclad studies that show that the masks don't work. But, but right. John, the John, let's assume, hold on, let's assume they do. Why did they go from no masks to back to masks? Because they want to the control Democrats everybody. They got, they got DeSantis in Florida. He's got no masks. I haven't put a mask on at all. Yeah. Numbers, yeah. 
the lowest numbers in the country. So and wait a minute, John, can I just finish my fucking story? I gotta go. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, fucking, I'm, I'm in a supermarket. I got I grabbed the wagon. I got no mask on. So, I'm starting to, you know, the guy's telling me I gotta put it. I know the guy for fucking years. I said, I'm not putting no fucking mask on. I ain't doing it. And I took the wagon. I start going down the aisles with the wagon. Right. He's chasing me, bro, with the fucking wagon. He's behind me, telling me I gotta, I gotta leave the store. And I'm running with the wagon. I'm sitting in the wagon. I'm, even, I'm making like I'm not even paying attention to him. I'm throwing this to the wagon. I'm throwing out the wagon. I'm like, fuck you. I ain't wearing no mask. And I'm running around the store and I fucking get to the checkout. The girl wouldn't ring me up, bro. She wouldn't ring me up because I didn't have a mask on, bro. So I said, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. And the fuck keep going. And I threw the wagon over there with all the food. And I walked out. And that's when I just came home down. This is what's going on over here, bro. I'm, at, I'm, I'm fucking leaving this fucking state. I am sick of these motherfuckers over here. The weather, the judge of taxes, the fucking and the mandates. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. Blabber, 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 blabber. Jimmy, please get in my pranks. Please get in my pranks. You would be amazing. I got to tell please. you, Jimmy. Yeah, your pranks? What pranks? My pranks. Pranks. My, my, pranks. My, my, my pranks. What you would be amazing, man. Like, he means what, prank video. What is a, what is a prance? What is my prank? Prank. Prank video. P-R-A-N-K. What the hell is a prance? Dancer, dancer. They mean the right dance. Prank. Dancer, Nixon. Are you talking about a he prank? He would be amazing, man. I heard prance, too. He's saying it really strange. I can't hear it. I, I can't even. Going. I don't know. He's going to France. <laughs> my videos. My videos. My videos. Oh, my video. videos. Yes, I want to use my what YouTube videos. I think he's trying to say prank. Prank. Right? Prank. 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 <laughs> say it in the singular. Yeah, prank. Rob, say it in the singular. Prank. Not... prank. Prank. He's got a little bit of a lisp, I think. He's got a little lisp going on. I, 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 I'm very sorry, Rob. I don't know what you... Are you we got to set him to speech therapy, Jimmy. Chill out. Yes, yes. I prank. prank. Video, like Frank. Frank, Frank, <laughs> Frank, Frank. Oh, Frank. 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 Did you notice... Did, did you guys notice that I'm wearing a dress shirt today? Yeah, 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 yeah I, I did. did. I did. It's kind of weird. You did. I thought yeah. you were just continuing so, your Johnny Cash mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you know, I don't like. I, someone mentioned, you know, I don't, my, I don't read the comments on the shows. I mean, I do sometimes, but, you know, a lot of times I do, I don't. But anyway, my brother called me up. He said, yo, some guy said, does Jimmy ever change his clothes, right? So, <laughs> so, I'm, like, so I'm like, you know, so I thought about it and I said, you know, the guy's right. I'm always wearing a black spandex shirt, my jeans, but that's. That's my MO. That's what I, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I have like these black shirts. I have about like 15 of them. You know, and I constantly wash them and wear because I, I don't want to listen. Here's the story, okay? I don't want to get up in the fucking morning, okay? Because I don't have a wardrobe anyway. And I don't want to open my closet and I got to think about what I'm going to wear today. What am I going to wear? Ah, am I going to wear this? What am I going to wear? Ah, oh, what kind of jeans are I? What kind of shoes? No, fuck that. I wear the same shit. I wait, wash it. I get up in the hall, I throw the black shirt on, the fucking pants, the fucking boots, I throw everything on, and I walk out of the house, because I don't want to spend 15 fucking minutes like some woman, figuring out what I'm going to wear when I leave the house. That's fucking why. All right? Oh my God, Jimmy. There's a Jimmy wearing the same shit. That's right. I do. Jimmy, I like that Vietnam hat, by the way. I like Jimmy, that hat. I, I just wear, I just wear what's on top. That's called veteran. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, what's what's on top of the basket? Yeah, that I, I don't ever yeah, unload. I take yeah. what's on top. I wear whatever the one to, on top yeah. is. It's you know, yeah, and my black shirts are always on top, John. Yeah. I open the drawer, <laughs> and here they are. They're all piled up. I grab it, I throw it on, I put my underarm on, you know, I make sure I don't stink it and shit. I fucking shave everything, and I fucking go out the fucking door. That's what I do. <laughs> You think I'm going to sit there for 20 minutes thinking about what the fuck I got to wear? I, you know, Jimmy, I got to tell you something. I, I don't, I'm, pretty pr I'm pretty impressed with the fact that you actually left King Cullen without the food. I, pro I probably, I I probably would have gone out to the car and got the mask at that point just because I wanted the food. No. no, I was so fucking mad day. I was so fucking aggravated with these people. The fucking the foreman that I know for years. And the girl, what, she wouldn't ring me up. I said, you're kidding me. Fuck him. The problem is, there's, there's no other place to go. They're going to all do the same thing to you. No, it's all over New York. No, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, as of Monday, they made it a mandate here in New York. Yeah, as of so, Monday. The whole state. Gyms everywhere. The whole state. 
Nassau so County not hey. following it. Nassau County, uh, the Nassau County executive that just won says he's not following. Well, is obviously he, he is. Because Jimmy couldn't buy groceries. Yeah, that, what happened, George? The Nassau County's not following. Uh, they're not following. There's like 13 counties already that, that told the uh, governor, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Good. But this is the, you're, we're talking about the Jimmy, New York governor, Jimmy, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, guy, any place that does that, walk the fuck out. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I walked out, yeah. and I left the, I had about $200 worth of fucking groceries in the and now you lost that. Now you lost that sale, you cocksucker. Now I left the fucking wagon there, and I walked the fuck out the door with all the food in there. Fuck you now. John, we got, we got to find we got to find someone in New York who can follow Jimmy around with a camera, because we're missing a lot of good footage here. I know, man. Know. It would be amazing. There you are. Because That's I got what I'm a talking about. Shit the day, man. Can you wear, like, can we get him, like, a little, like, like, like one of those little lapel cameras day. or something like that, you know? Man, people would love to see Jimmy. We got to get you like a little uh, GoPro that we can, like a mini GoPro to put on you. Get him with the cops wear, like a fucking. Yeah, yeah but, but you got to put in one of those sensors on it. The camera only turns on when he starts screaming. Which is all the time, John. That's the whole right. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now I'm getting jerked off by my boss. I, I don't know. I, got, I, I don't know what I got to do, Dave. But I got to make a move, man. I can't stay you, here we have this conversation you keep every saying week. That. You keep saying that. And Jimmy, everybody <laughs> opens their doors and says, come. Yeah. And you go, I got to get out of here. And John, I even come. offered, I, call, I told him I want to fly him out and put him come. in a hotel. He still hasn't acted I, on it's it. It's unbelievable. It's Tyler unbelievable. and I want to make a commercial with him. We're flying him out of here. I still haven't gotten any. I, I'm through. telling you, it's unbelievable. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, Dave. Hold on. That's still on, brother. I didn't say you no. All right. I told him I want to film a commercial with him. I'm not we're not giving any details away, but it's it's going to be a very funny commercial. But I got to get him out of here to do it. And you he's know, he said, "Dave, to I told you. What am I? Well, am I going to live in another fucking world over here? I told you after the New Year, when after the holidays, I'm, I'm I don't think we should wait. <laughs> he, he, first of all, he, the, the the VA nurse that he's in love with is not leaving. No. So the, 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 the track is number one. Number two is. He, he, without all of these things happening to him, Jimmy's life would be absolutely dull and boring. That's true. So he's got to have all of this conflict. Otherwise, he's got nothing absolutely. to do. Pivot, John. Absolutely. He's got to pivot. He moves to Florida. He's going to put a drink in his yeah. hand with an umbrella in it, and he's going to sit there, and fucking nothing's going to happen. Yeah. So He's like your Italian aunt, right? right. Like your fat right. aunt Rita and shit like that. So he's but John, about you know, Jimmy's, they need that. Jimmy's a creative guy. He's not creating he's because to he's too busy in conflict with conflict. He needs yeah. he can create, <laughs> you know. Are you kidding me? He'll be down there with all of us. He right. is very entertaining, be more, man. Be more Dave. fun than ever. Dave! Yeah. We're doing the commercial. All right. Okay? Yeah. I didn't want to come down there. Now you got the kids. It's Christmas and shit. We're talking two weeks now. Yeah. Well, I got I got to book it. I got to book it though. You can't. You can't say I'm coming so tomorrow. Well, so tonight, let's get on the phone tonight. Yeah. And the only listen. The only way you're gonna go. Listen, just well, get on the phone. I'll tell you the date. You just book the fucking ticket. This way, I ain't got a choice. I'm not gonna fuck you over with the ticket. I'm talking, George. I'm not gonna fuck you over with the ticket. So just do me a favor. All you gotta do. All right, George, George, what are you, George, what are you leaving? December 27th. That's perfect. All right, so. George, you look good. I'll send George to pick you up at the airport. Hey, <laughs> you'll be filming Logan doing that commercial before Jimmy. <laughs> I, I wish I could come so I could do some videos with I'll land in the airport, I'll, I'll, I'll get a fucking car. I'll rent the fucking car. First of all, he's going to be over in Boynton Beach, George. Yeah, you're going to be over on the, on the West Coast. So I gotta, I'm going to land. I'm going to rent the fucking car, and that's it. Boynton Beach. Yeah, is that where you're going, George? Boca. He's going to Boca. 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 Oh, Boca. Oh, I knew it started with a B. Oh, yeah, Boca. All right. I don't think that... John, I don't think they're going to let him live in Boca. I think they're going to kick him out of Boca, to be honest they, with you. I, no, I don't know. Never Boca. Uh -huh. I don't think you're going to last in Boca, George. Well, I, I've already been there. I'm, I've been to the shul, the biggest, <laughs> most famous. Uh, They're gonna be like, get this guy out of the neighborhood, man. You're gonna have to go to Deerfield Beach or something like that with next ben, door. I, I was at the shul with Ben Shapiro. Yeah, 
George is the guy who'll, who'll go to the shul and he'll bring, like, BLTs. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. What the fuck is shul? What is a shul, George? It's a synagogue. Oh, oh okay. They call I had no shul. idea. Oh. I thought you said you went to the shoe store. <laughs> no, I, shoe. No, I had no idea. I'm sorry. What I were you doing there with Ben sorry. Shapiro? What were you doing there, George? They, my client, he goes there. He lives right by... He lives... Right, that right in the complex he lives. He in. moved. He moved his client. Huh? Did your client move yet? Yeah, he, he got that. Well, we did the press conference. Right. No, I know. He so he's there now. Yeah, he's been there for uh, two months. He's got. Well, he still has a place in Plainview. You know, it goes back. Can you? Hey, can you picture George like teaching all those old Jewish women, giving them like fucking life hack? Things and just <laughs> get your shit together. Get out of here. They love him. They love him. Are you kidding me? I've seen him in action. Oh, he's they such a love him. Boy. <laughs> no, Rick, he, he tells them how beautiful they are, and he, he knows exactly how to charm them. Yeah. Rick, yeah. Rick, I see George. I, I have total faith in George. I believe that George could do anything. Yes. Because I've seen that man have a storefront where literally nothing in the fucking store, and <laughs> people will come in there to train. The and I, he had the tiki I, bar. I, he had the tiki uh, bar in, in, yeah, in the Yeah, that's all he had. It was a fucking tiki <laughs> bar. I walked in the gym because I went to go see George that day. I walked in the place about a thousand feet. I'm like, where's all the equipment, George? He says, oh, I got a couple of dumbbells over there. And I got, a, you know, I got a straight bar over. I said, that, that, and a mat. I said, that, that's it? And he had a tiki bar. And the people were coming in constantly when I was there. <laughs> I, 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 couldn't, I, I couldn't understand how this man could, uh, how he works his magic. I don't, I don't understand what he does. And it, Dude, it, it's unbelievable. Been, the, rates, the rates were not like, you know, like some people pay for a gym, what, $100 a month? It was like like, like $5,000 a month like to train with George, you know? <laughs> well, personal training. I mean, that's, it was, I mean. <laughs> Listen, George could sell a snowball to an Eskimo. That man's got some talent with sales. He does. Right now. Oh, I, I was there where he went, where he cooks the cookies and shit. If, if, I mean, he, and he makes those, you know, the best cookies, and he did it out of nothing. <laughs> Greg's trying does. to be that's nice, George, I can tell. That's what George does. He just does shit out of nothing. I know. It does life coaches. He's got millionaires calling him up, crying to him, and he's and he's setting them straight. I don't know. I don't know. I got to stop following George around. That's what I got to do. It's not broke. <laughs> Jimmy, you're good with the food truck, Jimmy. You're getting the food truck. Yeah. My luck, the, the mob will sort me out and fucking blow my brains out in the sausage truck because I'm, I'm on their territory. That'd be my luck. Sausage. Jimmy, you got to move in on them. You're gonna, you may have to do, kick a do, few do you heads. See how, and... Do you see how self-defeating he is? Yes, yeah, he's already, he's, he's already, he's already contemplating a mafia hit in Florida <laughs> for opening up a sausage and pepper. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So what more proof do you need that this guy is not fucking leaving? <laughs> The hot dog mafia is after him, John. Right, right. yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> He's going to insult the hot dog mafia, and, and they're, and they're going to come and kill him because he's selling sausage and peppers out of a truck. Well, I might be on their fucking corner, John. I'm on their fucking corner. You know, it's not worth It's not like a you prostitution ring, corner. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you're going to go to the gyms. You got to be mobile. Go. Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. You're going to go. To, you're going to go. You're going to announce on the show. Hey. Gonna be the cartel this. is going to hear about it. But the, there's a new hot dog guy in town. <laughs> so all you got to do is all you got to do is name a sausage and pepper after the cartel, and yeah. then you should give them those for free. <laughs> and then you're I got to give a I got to give them a cut, John. Yeah, right. you got to find a family for protection down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to pay him a big. Right, Maybe guys, I hold gotta on. Go. I got I got to run. I got to get out. I got to go to the VA late, man. Love all you. Right. Love you. I talk to you later. What do you go? Hold on. What are you going to the VA for? Jesus, I, like the nurse. Why are you going to the VA? I got to go draw blood. For what? Why? Uh, I, my doctor says I'm a vitamin D sufficient. Or they want to check the blood out. They think he I'm, uh, just I got, I got likes this. the nurse. That's uh, the only that's reason true. he goes. Yeah. He doctors he 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 like go over there. And I'm trying to get a testosterone prescription from the VA. I, I'm hopefully I can, I can, I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> not with the fact that you're on testosterone. You're not going to get anything now. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, testosterone I, shortage, apparently, because all the transgender. I, 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 fuck, I need testosterone, John. I'm all fucked up. All right, I gotta go. I gotta run down. Right. I gotta get. I gotta get the blood drawn, man. Jimmy, it's come cute, down for me. It's a cute nurse that's drawing my blood, actually. By uh, the way, yeah, I mean, we figured that was the reason you're going. What I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about the girl that did the. Uh, <laughs> Cat scan on my testicles, right? What? <laughs> what? First of all, why did you have a cat scan on your testicles? So here's what I told you that story. I had pain in my testicles. I went to oh. I went to the VA, and my doctor said, "Listen, let's check it out. Let's be safe, you know." So I went in. I came in like a week later, or whatever. I had the appointment, and I go in the back room, and there's this blonde girl. She's like in her twenties. So she's like, I got a Russian accent, right? I'm saying, wait a minute. Who, where's the Where's the doctor? She says, oh, I'm the doctor. I says, You're gonna do the thing? She says, Yeah. Take off your clothes. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I take off my, my clothes. She says, cover yourself with a blanket. All I had was on a little towel. But, you know, just a little towel. I was, I got, and I'm laying down. And she goes under the towel with the sonogram. And she's going around the, the testicles, up and underneath. I, I thought it was going to be a two-minute test. A fucking 40 minutes, this girl's doing all this shit. Right? See, maybe she and liked I'm fucking, you. I'm laying there. I'm thinking about war. And fucking you know, earthquakes. I was gonna pop a fucking tent right there, bro. I was gonna pop a tent right there. I had to concentrate so fucking hard, and this girl was rubbing my testicles for 40 minutes. I was out of my mind. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I, gotta go. I, gotta go. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bro. God love bless you, John, you. George. I'm good, Kirk. I'll take care, brother. <laughs> He's funny, man. He was thinking about war and famine. <laughs> Dude, who the hell gets a fucking cat skin on a fucking on a? On I never a heard bull. that. I never, I never heard that. Me neither. Well, now we know why he goes to the, the VA all the time. He's going for another testicle scan, I guess. I've been oh. saying that for two fucking years. None of you guys <laughs> listen to me. You're right. Look, you're right. You're right. I, you know, I'm so naive. You see the obvious in everything, John. I got to, I got to give it to you. Dude, he loves the VA, but dude, the VA is fucking full of like wackos and shit. The, and the doctors are like guys who couldn't cut it. it, it I mean, that's they're not. They're I doctors. think he likes let to me, go there, me, Greg. Though, because my father used to go to VA. My son, would, my son's like, don't ever, my because my son's a vet. My yeah. son's like, don't ever go to the fucking VA. Fuck let, that. Let me tell you something about the VA. I have full B, VA benefits. I went one time. All right. I walked in there, I looked around, and I walked out, and I said, I'd rather fucking die. <laughs> and, <laughs> that is the VA. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah and, man. And Jimmy loves it. He goes at least once a month. You know why, John? Because me. most of the people who go there are really effed up. They're really, there's yes. something wrong with them. So when he goes there, he's so like, it's like he's almost like uh, he's like Robert Redford there to compare these yeah, people. Yeah, makes him feel good. He, yeah, he, dude, we used to run. <laughs> they tell him how body. handsome he is, probably. And oh my God, what are you doing here, Jimmy? The bull again? Oh, uh, yeah. Dave, I used to run shows at the for the NPC out of the v, there was a VA hospital over here has a giant like fucking uh, like a stage Auditorium. center in there. And the fucking wackos would become walking around in robes and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can see their bare ass in the back. I seriously, it was fucking crazy. And the, all the bodybuilders would be there. I mean, I ran a lot of shows at a oh. VA in Montrose, New York. Why did you pick the VA? Huh? Why did you because pick they the have VA? A giant theater sits almost two thousand people. Why would the it's VA just, need such a big theater there? I guess they put on. Show, it's a campus. It's uh, not. No. It's not just. A, it's a whole fucking oh, campus with the house. Probably give lectures from there. Yeah, dude, I had it with the Steve yeah. Weinberg used to go. To. Hey, listen, look, Dave, by the way, look, look what that is, Peter Neff. Wow. How old yeah, is that magazine? Know. Holy Wait, mackerel. Let me see the girl. Body huh? Who's the, Who's the girl? I'm not sure. Hold it up, Joe, Greg. Uh, wait, I'll tell you, see if this says here, uh, Peter Neff, natural bodybuilding for men and women. I think it's just a model. But look, uh, you can see the headband and shit. Look how, like, that's like. like that's so typical 80s, movie. yeah. Yeah. Look at Neff, though. He that's was all he natural. Got. He looked like you, yeah, Greg, actually. He won He won the... Uh, dude, Bob Gruskin used to run, run the part of this magazine. What year was that? Natural. What year? This was 1985. Wow. wow. Yeah. Look, the, the national... He helped me uh, for a show in 1990. But you remember... But, bro, you remember that, that uh, he was natural. He actually won... The, remember they had the intermediate USA. He won the. He won that. Junior USA won his weight class. 
Yeah, lightweight. Yeah. Natural, which was very hard back in the day. He helped me. Someone in Westchester recommended I go to him. I didn't know what I was doing. I was going to do my first show or second show, and I went to his house in Westchester. It was pretty close to the medical school I was going to at the time. And he helped me with diet and everything like that. Very nice. I was in his he was one of my good friends. He was one of my best friends. He helped me too. Yeah, he was good. He's he was smart. He wrote a book. Everything I knew. He wrote Where's a book. That? He was a, a Grushkin disciple, though. Yeah, I used to go down to Gruskin downstairs in the basement. Yeah. He uh, he um, introduced me to Gruskin, and he's yeah. I'm in that book that he wrote, Natural uh, Natural, natural for Body, life. Natural yeah. and Natural for Life. Yeah. Yeah. I have it somewhere back here. I didn't even know. And that. people don't realize Gruskin was like an old, like, look, if you saw him, you, you'd think he was a homeless person, some old, decrepit. He looked like a little college professor, which is what he was. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Smoking now, cigarettes. You know, when I first met him, I was like, this is, this is the guy you've been yeah, but you know what? <clears throat> he had the respect of everybody, even Schwarzenegger. If you really? That they, oh, he, yeah, he used to, he, he was uh, a really big, he used to judge in the 60s and stuff. Uh. You know what I mean? But he went, he's a little bit, you know, he was in his own little world, though. He did he didn't like that whole thing with Weeder. Well, it was, it was, a lot. It was eccentric. Huh? It was a, yeah, he was, it was eccentric. eccentric. He was a, uh, he was actually a chemistry professor for Columbia yeah. University. Or NYU, 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 I think, NYU. Um, <clears throat> I was actually living in the Bronx at the time, in my, when I was in my third year of medical school, and I was consumed by, I was like in love with bodybuilding, you know, I had competed a couple times. I didn't know this. Because I didn't even know who Grushkin was. I was literally around the corner from him. He lived. I oh. could have walked to his house. Had I known he was there, I would have been there every fucking day probably, <clears throat> learning from him, asking Dude, I, him a million questions. What I, medical I, school did you go to, Dave? New York Medical College, which was up in Valhalla. But I was doing a, a rotation in the Bronx at the... At, at, um, That's the hospital that almost killed me. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I used to go to his basement. Put you on the the what? What's that? They put you on the ventilator there. That's oh, yeah, yeah, it was bad. But uh, that's not, uh, I used to go down there with Peter Neff all the time. And, you know, then when I got ready for shows, he used to bring me. To, I, I was very close with Gruskin for, for years. Dude, he used to, you go in his garage, he had pile of supplements, like super spectrum vitamins. Because people would just send him stuff, right? Yeah, he would give, he, he gave me a ton of shit. Like, yeah. he used to give me multi power. Remember multi power yeah, formula yeah. 90, the, the, the protein? Yeah. You know? He was in with all that, you know, with that. Well, you know? they would send, yeah, the companies would just send him free stuff because they knew he would give it to the athletes. Piles. He had a pile, I can't remember, a giant pile in his, in his, uh, wow. in his garage, you know. Yeah. It was, he was a good man, though. He was a good guy. Yeah, no, he was, he was, he loved bodybuilding, you know. He was really into it. Oh, yeah, he was smart. He knew his shit. He got everybody ready. Yeah. He can look right at you and, and tell you what to eat. Like, he'd tell you, like, Dude, oh, be- you need a muffin. Eat a crumb bump muffin right now. You're like, a crumb bump muffin? What are you talking about? You know, goes, I yeah. wanted, George, I wanted to ask you, what did Mahalik think about Grushkin? Did they get along? Yeah. He took, yeah they, I think they, they were they, friends. I think they were friends. Yeah. He used to work with all the Mahalik's kids, like Jerry Scalisi and all yeah. those guys. I used to see them all the time. Vinnie Monaco. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, all those guys down there. They'd be down there. John Natashek and I, I was down there. That's how I met John Natashek. I, I was going for a show in uh, 1984. And he was down there, and you know, you know, a lot of guys trained a, a lot cop, of guys. Wasn't he? What's that? Natashek was a cop, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a a, a cop in a, a Hudson County, I think it was. In, in, I think it was Hudson County oh. or something like that. Yeah, he he, he was a he cop. Was a good for, bodybuilder. In Jersey. Yeah, you know what? He was. He had like a. He had the things that make you win, like delts. You know, that V yep. taper and then bulby legs with calves. You know, yeah. it just right. he wasn't. Like massive, but he was really well hey, put together. He had he a really, was. he had the kind of body you look at and say, "Wow, it's, his structure was really and nice." He, he and he had the greatest head of hair too when he was younger, right? Yep. Yeah, he did. He yeah. did. Now he doesn't have any hair now, but he, he, had great he, he brought great condition too. He was. Oh, he was friendly. a great guy. I like John Natashek. He was a good guy. He had he had a good personality too. S- still good, still a good guy. Yeah, he's a good man. But, still a good guy. You know, Anyway, right. I thought you'd like that. And here, this is the first bodybuilding magazine I ever saw in my life, right here. Boyer Co. Boyer Co. Oh, Boyer. Yeah. Is he? Is Boyer Co. He almost looks like Pete Neff. There. Dave. He almost looks like Pete Neff. Look. <laughs> I think everyone Look had that Pete. same haircut. That's why. Look at Neff right there. Greg, you right. had the same haircut too. And hey, look! Look who's on the back. Louis. Louis. Wow. Look at Ferrigno. Wow. Dan Laurie. Advertising Dan Laurie supplements. Oh, my God. 
Uh-oh. What about that? Yeah, remember the Dan Laurie store? Remember that? The... Sure. Dan Laurie oh, was Dan... a good guy. Yeah. He was a good guy. I liked Dan Laurie. Yeah. He was he's small. He was a good guy. Was, I liked him. He, George, he was, was Dan right. Lurie the guy that was at the beach that time when you were doing the surfing contest? He was, yeah, Dan Lurie was the guy. He ran the bodybuilding contest at Jones Beach. What, right, you were there. Didn't you do... I'm trying to remember. Was I there talking to him? I, yeah, I think you would. Yeah, you, I came down him. there. Yeah, I did. Uh, Mahalik was there. Weren't you playing chess with him or something like that? I, Am I making... Oh, yeah. he's a checker champion, right? He was a checkers champion, right? Right. Am I well, making I this up? No. Okay. No, no, no. They he had, was at all the shows, bro. He used to go with Tony Pandolfo boy. and all those guys. Remember Tony Pandolfo? Mahal, I think it was Mahalik got George and, and Dan Laurie to run some contest on the Mr. Jones Beach contest, right? <laughs> yeah. Jo Mr. Jones Beach. Dan Laurie yeah. had to be like 90-something years old at that point, right? Yeah. He was yeah. Yeah. Why, why you're so very being very quiet? Why? What ha what happened? What, what what are you not saying? You look like Fred Flintstone at the end, <laughs> right, George? It, like, George yeah, looks right. like he's trying to hide something, John, doesn't he? It, it's it's something's not coming yeah, out. Yeah, he's not <laughs> revealing something. <laughs> no, That's why I think I'm losing my mind. I I can't be making this up. <laughs> I had the I had the blonde wig. I had the blonde wig on the. I had the whole whole Hogan. Yeah, that was on. your whole Hogan years. Yeah. And, and, and I told, and I would tell people they wouldn't believe me. You know, yeah. like I'm not the, you know, I'm not the Hulk. You know, yeah. like, they thought you were Hogan himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. George, you look good, by the way. Oh, thanks. Just training, man. That's all. You look good. Oh, yeah. Dave, when I get down there, we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Dave to do start doing Muay Thai. Oh my God. I don't. Uh, yeah. Well, now you're showing. They don't have your, time for that. Your hands up. You got to come yeah. and do some fight MMA with my son. That's it. You got to you got to train with him. Go to yeah, his. Well, he's training. He's training at a place now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Two days a week. What's, he loves it. What, they teach everything. MMA? It's it's all disciples. You, you do rest. They do jujitsu. I mean, they do wrestling. They do. Uh, I mean, grappling. They do striking. They do. You know, the holds. They do. It's amazing. At five years old, he's picking stuff up. You know, he's. But that's what you want to teach. It's of course. It's live fighting. It's real life fighting. Yes. And then you're know, interacting, yes. not not doing, you know, not doing these cotters. And yeah, that, he, all he'd that never stuff. be able to do that. He, he couldn't concentrate that's on stuff, those things. You can't apply that stuff <laughs> anyway. No, no. Dave, do you have your girls that's doing that. a gymnastics at all or no? Nah, Amanda's afraid they're gonna get hurt. We haven't decided yet on that. But are you uh, serious? Because Amanda was such a, a I big know, but they, it's you know she'll do a little stuff with them herself. But you know it's it's, it's dangerous, you know, gymnastics. So I swear to get you your your day. Day. Our, my, my daughter Ari is gonna gymnastics is, gonna do is dangerous, but fighting is not. It's <laughs> MMA. <is dangerous. laughs> well, because you're not falling on your head and fighting, really, John. You no, know. it's getting punched in the face. Yeah, but they got they got headgear on and everything. Those kids can't even hurt each other, you know. My son gave some kid like a bloody nose the other day, and, and the kid was crying. You know, <laughs> he was laughing. He loved it. He was, I could tell he's got like a little sadistic streak in him. You know, <laughs> but he's good because he can get hit. He doesn't cry. He doesn't. He might get pummeled. He will not cry. You know, so he, he fights with your daughters, right? Yeah, yeah. But the problem is, you're right. He practices on, the, on my daughters. Yeah, that's the problem. That's so that, who's gonna wind up being <clears> tough. Yeah, oh yeah, they're very tough. But you know what? We tell the instructor if he's not behaving at home, and then they call them out in the class. They'll make them stand there holding something over the head the whole class, or doing squats oh, shit, in the corner. Really, I love that. Yeah, oh yeah, they, they, and he's petrified of the instructor, which is great because he doesn't listen to us at all. You know? Right. Yeah. 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 So. so you tell the instructor he hit his sister, and now he's got to hold the kid over his head. After, and it's, you know what? The funny thing is, he's not the only one. It's other kids too. They're, I thought my son was the only, you know, you know, maniac, but they're all maniacs. That's 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 why they're in <laughs> MMA, you know. Yeah, you got to teach them respect. Yes. The, the respect. You, the, teach them that it's a, it's a weapon. It's right. not. It's sacred fighting. Well, that's what he say. He, he punched a kid at school because the kid uh, wouldn't get in line, and he. I said, well, "What are you, the boss?" And he's <laughs> like, "He wouldn't get in line." So they told him, "You don't hit people." Out, you are dangerous. You're, you know, your hands are lethal weapons because we're teaching you how to fight. And we're not going to teach you how to fight if you're going to use it outside of the school. So he had a, you know, they have to, you know, they're explaining to him. And I think it's, you know, it's starting to register now that, oh, wait a minute. Everyone doesn't have this skill set. You know, I can't just go around hitting people and be a bully, you know. 
So here, here's a problem you're going to have. Wow. After I had been studying martial arts for a couple of years, I was probably about maybe 13 or 14 at the time. Right. And when my mother would, you know, my mother would hit me. You'd block you know, her. And, and or start swinging at me. <laughs> and, and, and then it became reflex. So she's hitting me and I'm like, blocking them and she's getting black and blue marks on on her fucking arm so my father got pissed off and she he says you let your mother hit you and i said yeah i can't it's re it's for reflex at this point because i don't care you let your mother hit you my mother would have took a bat or something she said oh you want to put your hands up well here's the thing most italian kids grew up getting shoes thrown at them right the wooden spoon the wooden spoon, the wooden spoon. then the ba- apron, belt, Air, and then too. the shoe. Everybody got the shoe thrown at him. So I, I got at home one day, and I go, how come How come everybody gets the shoe thrown at him, and you hit me with a wooden spoon? Why don't you throw the shoe? She goes, I'm not going to throw one of my shoes at you. I love my shoes. I'm going to throw a boot. <laughs> I used to get beat up, all, I, and it never dawned on me. Maybe I should just behave. Yeah, you know? right, right. Were right. you an only child, John? Did you have? Oh, I'm the oldest of three. Uh, the oldest always gets. Oh, the oldest I, is always I, the I, worst. I had, pave, I had to pave the way. No yeah. way. My son was. My son is the op, My son and daughter is the opposite of your kids, Dave. My my daughter was the maniac, even as a kid. Fucking. Really. She hit my son at like three years old with a bat, with an aluminum wow. bat. She hit him, oh my and he God. was like, he was ten. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they're big difference in age. But she's a maniac. She's a fucking maniac. Whereas my son is quiet. My yeah. son's nothing like me. My daughter's a lot like me. Shut up. You know, talks a lot and shit. You yeah. know, it's the total opposite. She so, does have a mate, doesn't she, Greg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does yeah, it. She yeah, does yeah. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, and she used to do bare knuckle fighting. Rob, do you yeah, have so- any kids? I forgot to ask you that once. Rob. What? Rob, yeah. Do you have kids? Yes, yes, I have a 14-year-old boy and a 19-year-old boy. Oh, I didn't know that. Congratulations. Yes, yep, yep. Two college or no, older, college? He's got an older, going? retarded kid. What, what is that, Dave? He's got an older, retarded kid. <laughs> I do? <laughs> the guy in the video. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Cassidy's... Oh, uh, Cassidy yeah. Campbell, yeah. Well, he's special. He's he's a nerd. Special, we'll special. I'm sorry. We don't want to offend him. We'll call him a right. nerd. Yes. Special. <laughs> Yeah, but what, I have real kids, a 14 and a 19. What do your kids think about the videos you do, the, the YouTube stuff? Do they think it's funny? You know, I, I tried to get them into it, um, but they do not want to. The younger one would be awesome. I think they watch them, but they act. They don't, They you know, they don't want to give me any credit. Oh, they do? Yeah, I would think they would want to get involved, you know, do it. You know, now, if I was a kid now, I would want a YouTube channel. I'm like, forget, that. I'm not going to school. I want to just be a YouTuber, man. So yeah, he, I, I, my 14 year old would be awesome at it. You know, Dave, uh, here's some characters I'm, I'm going to be doing here. Um, uh, rich, cruel man. Okay. I'm going to be, I want to get a, a wife to do um, uh, 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 rich, spoiled wife. Right. Okay. Where she pushes me around the opposite of what Cassidy was doing. I know a few women bodybuilders that would be perfect for that. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> I, that would be really funny. John, I'm funny, sure we yeah. can come up with a list, right? Yes, yes. So I'm going to be doing some good stuff. Can you imagine, Dude, John, you get like... one of these uh, dominatrix women? You, actually, Greg, you can get Dana to do it. Oh, yeah. She's fucking kick your ass. Dude, Dana, we had Dana on stage. I don't know if you remember this at, at uh, Dana Capabianco, yeah. if yeah. you guys don't know. I'm, I'm godfather and her daughter, whose birthday was the last week. But um, she, Dana was on stage. I don't know if you remember that at the, uh, yeah. at the um, MD booth. Yeah. And she beat every all the big bodybuilder guys. She beat them all in arm wrestling. And then she she arm wrestled them all lefty. And she was beating them all till one guy beat her. And he fucking was like sliding and shit. Dude, she, <laughs> oh, so he cheated. Dude, she, she over here, a cop pulled her over to get a ticket. She told the cop. The cop's like, yes, what are you, like a bodybuilder and shit? And she's like, I'll tell you what. If you can beat me in arm wrestling, I'll pay the ticket. If not, you know. Oh, you I know that chick with the, yeah. with the warm black hair. Dana, Capabianco. Yeah. No, she's just saying. Did Sometimes she beat him? Sometimes she changes her hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she was at the fucking. Did dude, she beat him? Like She's like my sister. Did you she know beat I mean? the cop? Yeah, she beat him. <laughs> dude, she beats guys all the time. She beats the sh- she be- she beat the shit out of a guy. You know. So maybe she can play uh, Rob's wife that like wants in, in the skits. You know, that wants to beat the crap out of him. Where she'd be? Dude. I'd be the pushover. She'd be. Dude, pushing we me did around. a video awesome. where she she fought this guy in the gym and. uh you know, the guy was starting to get serious. It was actually a video that we were doing for uh, like a show. And 
she started like they would. It started out as you know, you know how you play fucking wrestle and shit. Yeah. yeah. She play wrestling. Then the guy started getting serious. So she fucking put him in a headlock, put him on the ground, and was like fucking pounding him. <laughs> bro, he was so, and grab, he was the bodybuilder, bro. And she, he was so embarrassed. He, we were all like, holy fuck. He, <laughs> Cause she's, you know, she's, she's, she could fucking handle herself. She's, yeah. she's tough. Yeah. Where you know? is she at? What state is she in, Greg? She lives right here with me, right down the street. She, she's, uh, she, she's like a, 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 a like my sister. You know what I mean? She, so when Rob, you, when you good, fly out, would to... she be good on camera? Would she be a good actress? Yeah, she, she, she's a little shy sometimes, which is crazy. I mean, oh, I, I could work with her. That'd be talk. awesome. But she, yeah, she would be great, dude. She's and she's. She, by the way, she's going. Uh, she's going in that show in Miami. She's 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 fifty years old. She wanted to just jump in it, and Weinberger let her do it. So she's oh, going nationals? in. Oh, uh, nationals. Oh, good. Yeah, she's going in. She's all dieted down, you know, right now. Perfect. You gotta you gotta get Rob to come out to you in the next two weeks and uh, do some skits out there with her. Oh, you, you, yeah. You know, she's a good. She's she really reminds good. me of Joni Vivino. I'm a jo- pull up, is the, it- pull up the, the Dana Copper Bianco bodybuilder. Yeah, let me see what she looks like. I like. Yeah, let's see. see if Tyler can find her picture. Yeah, she looked like Joni Bavino. You're right, a little bit. Yeah, she, she drove. She, she was in she was FedEx truck. Dude, I introduced her to Dean Caputo, and then they, her and Dean Caputo were boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. Oh, really? That was Greg, years ago, huh? Yeah, it was years ago. That'd yeah. be eighties, right? Greg, Greg, tell her, tell yeah, her. oh yeah, it was early eighties. Greg, let her There's look Tyler. at uh, my Tyler, Eddie, coming to the show. TV. Taking you to Jimmy the Bull slot. I'll tell her, Rob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, you know, I'm I'm uh, her, her daughter's godfather and everything. So oh, good. So what? Good. Now what? As, as godfather, what is your responsibility, Greg? Aside from the fact that if someone head dies, you take. You it's know, real, basically it's a yeah. it's a title, but like I'm like her uncle, you know, like she's I'm close. You buy her uncle. like gifts on Christmas. I mean, how's that yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's little. She's Dana only three. Capo you know, mm-hmm. Capo Bianco, C A P O B I. Yeah, she has great genetics. She's just just crazy. Yeah, she is. She's good. She's, you know, you got to love her. Dude, she was over here building shit from my, at my house, right? My, when my father was alive, she was carrying a giant log like this, Dave, <laughs> like on her Arnold. shoulder. And she had a beer in one hand with a cigarette sticking out the side of her mouth. <laughs> and my father looks at her. She's got hot pants on and shit, you know? <laughs> and my father goes, that, that's the kind of woman I know. She had a cigarette with a beer and a fucking yeah. carrying a giant log. They get Mr. V, you know. The one that likes to fight and fuck. <laughs> Dude, she, 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 she fight and fuck. <laughs> that's my girl. Yeah, that's her right there. Yeah, pull up her picture. Let's see. Yeah, that's all her. Yeah. Dude, she was in um, she was oh, in uh, uh I introduced her to Rob Messino, and she was the centerfold for um. Oh, for, for uh, Muscle Elegance. Muscle Elegance. Wow. Yeah, those look that's like my girl. Yeah. She's like my sister. Yeah, that's she's, her she's, yeah. she's a genetic freak, like Johnny yeah. Bobino. Yeah. Just yeah. a freak. Oh man, we we could have some fun in some videos. She would do awesome. Yeah, she would beat be, the shit be, out of you for for, for real. Yes, though, Rob. I would have her like push me around, beat me up, and, and but pop, Rob, you'd like, probably yeah, get you'd probably get hurt. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. <laughs> that's like my sister right there, bro. That's funny. amazing. Wow, she is built. All right, let's let's get her. Let's see. I, let, let's see what you guys can do. And, and uh, Greg, you can play like the uh, the perverted uncle or something like that. You know, maybe. Dude, yeah, I think you, you got on a show Greg. if you want. You know what I mean? Me and her do <laughs> a lot of shit, everything together. Yeah, we should get her on the show. Recognize, Greg. What's that? They'll recognize you. You're going to be too recognized, so it won't be a prank. That's true. Yeah, he might get recognized. I get silly. I would start getting silly. Well, you prank it. I do it through stunt. If I you could, put I, a wig on Greg, then no one would recognize him. <laughs> or like a hoodie or something. Yes. We, no, we you got to put a wig on him. Like, make him look like, uh, you know, yeah. like, yeah, I don't and she know. she smacks him in the head. And the wig like Joe Pesci. Head. When Joe Pesci puts a wig on, you know, no one recognizes yes. him. Yes. <laughs> Joe Pesci. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Dude, if you ever interviewed my son, because my son was talking to somebody, and if, if I'm there, he's like, "Where'd you get this guy?" You know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, hey. you you would not you would not believe the app. He looks unfortunately he looks a lot like me. But John is completely <laughs> disconnected from the show right now. Yeah. All right, let let we gotta wrap this up anyway. Greg, ask Dana if she wants to come on the show maybe next week Absolutely. or so. Absolutely. After nationals, awesome. so Thank just you. this way she can you know because she's got nationals this coming weekend. We'll get her on the yeah, week. We'll get her on the week after. Maybe next Tuesday. She's, she's fifty years old. You know, I know. what I mean? And she, she she hasn't really competed in like oh my god, like I don't know, ten years or more. That's crazy. Yeah, she, she just wants to that. jump in it. Women get yeah, better as they get older. We fall apart. I turn fifty tomorrow, by the way. Tomorrow's my birthday. Hey, happy okay, birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Happy birthday, Rob. Tomorrow. That's great. <clears throat> Thank um, you guys. What are you doing yeah, for your birthday? 
Uh, probably go out with my wife and kids, go out to dinner and whatever else. Yeah, nothing special. What's your favorite food? What are you going to be eating? Um, you know, I, I like steak. I like steak. You know, uh, I'm, I'm a meat eater, so we we eat like um, we uh, uh, Middle Eastern food, yeah. Mexican food, you know, all, all kinds. You know what, Rob? I found after like after like 30, no one gives a shit about about our birthdays anymore. Fathers are the most no. neglected people. We no, they could give a crap about us. Maybe when you hit it's 80, just they'll another day. You know. It's just, just another, another day. day. That's right. Another day in the fucking yes. yeah. cog wheel. Yeah. The day you want to avoid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah, enjoy your birthday, you. Rob. Happy birthday, guys. Uh, great Thank talking you. to you again. Happy uh, birthday, Rob. We got to wrap up Thank this uh, taco show. Again. Jimmy, if you're Love out you. there, uh, don't let anyone ultrasound your testicles. Uh, <laughs> For more than 20 minutes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We, we don't want to have any uh, accidents uh, occurring right. under that sheet that you had hanging over you. Right. <laughs> For now, though, I'm Dave Palumbo with the entire Whack Pack. We'll see you next week. All shows over. It's Mr. G Stack time. Oh, Mr. Boy. Mr. Potts, Protein.net. Oh. Get your cookies. There you go. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Too Look bad that. he's the only one who has the cookies. <laughs> Later, guys. You share with, Later. The, you share with the rest of the class. I feel blessed. All right, guys.